Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between these two Cuisinart coffee makers. On the left, I got the Cuisinart 4-in-1 Barista System, model number SS-4N1. And on the right, I got the Cuisinart Hot and Iced Coffee Maker, model number SS-16. So the Barista System will do a full 12 pot uh, full of coffee. You can do a standard K-cup, but you can also do an espresso pod. You can do an espresso with this, and it has a built-in steam wand. Over here on this one, the single serve iced, you can do an iced coffee in the carafe. You can use, you can use a K-cup on the K-cup single serve side. But this one does not do an espresso pod, and it doesn't have a steam wand. And we can also cook or uh, make a full 12 cup pot of coffee over here. This is the brew basket. It, it takes a number four cone filter. It does come with a reusable filter. On this one, same thing, same basket. We got a number four cone filter also. They both come with carbon water filters. You're going to put your water here, your coffee here for the craft side. Same with over here, coffee, water for the craft. And then we've got a single serve side here. So here's where you're going to put your cake up. Any standard cake up, you're going to put it in there. It's going to pierce the top and the bottom, and we can brew a single serve coffee. We've got a water reservoir here in the back that, that is just for the single serve side that we can fill up. And it also has a carbon water filter. On this one, this is where we can do an espresso pod and a cake up. Now you can't do them at the same time. You gotta pick either this one or that one. But I'm gonna show you, we're, gonna, we're not gonna make a pot of coffee. We're gonna do the single serve side. And the four in one also has a water reservoir. It's a little bit bigger and it's on the back. Okay, so first let's make a K-cup. Let's make a single serve coffee. You're just gonna put your K-cup in there, close the lid. Over here, a little bit bigger lid, but it's got this big handle. You're gonna put the K-cup in the back, close the lid, and close the handle. On this one, it's got this knob. You're gonna rotate this knob. The first two are Nespresso pods. Then you got steam, hot water. Now we got pods. We can do a 10, eight, or six ounce. I like to brew my coffees on eight ounces. On this one, we gotta select either pod or carafe. And then I'm gonna rotate the dial. Now I press the pod button. I can do a four ounce, six ounce, eight ounce, 10 ounce, or 12 ounce through that K-cup. I'm gonna do an eight ounce. Then I'm simply gonna hit the brew button right here, and I press this button right here. And both of them are gonna start brewing their single serve K-cup. All right, so they both start brewing about the same time. I've got the exact same coffee K-cup in there. Let's check temperature coming out. 164 ramping up. This one's already at 176. 176, so they're about the same temperature brewing. So oh, the coffee smells really good. You're gonna have a coffee in under a minute with both machines. This one here is a little bit noisier with a pump. All right, the one on the right is finished up. And that cup of coffee ends up at 165, 67. That's a really hot cup of coffee. The barista system's a little bit behind, but it's finishing up also. All right, let's take a look at these coffees. Yeah. I've had the coffee out of both of them. That's really hot to drink right now. And again, this one ends up with same temperature, 167. The coffee tastes really good out of a K-cup in them. Okay, let's lift them up. We can take our K-cup out. Here's how this one did. Lift this up. And there's how that K-cup did. Okay, let's do an espresso. Take this little adapter out. This is where we're gonna put the Nespresso pod. Now, when you get these, make sure they're the original line. They make a Verdio line that's kind of round and gets spun in a different machine. This is the original line. So you're gonna take the pod, you're gonna simply put it in there like this. So that's nice and flush. This sticks up right here. Then you're simply gonna place it in here like that. Now there's needles down there. That's gonna poke it on that side and it's also gonna get poked on this side when I close the lid. Okay, so let's close it. Very easy to close. I got my espresso cup here. We got this little tray we can move. Now we're gonna rotate this to espresso. I can do a single shot or a double shot. I'm gonna do a double shot and just press the start button. And it starts making it right away. And that's a really hot espresso coming out. 
We're at 140, but it's going to ramp up really quick. And if you do a single shot, it'll be about half as much of that. All right. We're finishing up. Very hot, 160. There we go, there's what that looks like. These taste really good in cappuccinos and lattes. I can't drink that straight like that, but the nice thing about this, it has a steam wand that we can steam some milk. So with that steam wand, I can get hot water out also. I can rotate this to where it says hot water, press the start button, and I'll get really hot water out that steam wand. But I'm gonna do steam. So see how the steam is lit up? And now I'm gonna press the start button. Now you can put this in your coffee mug, Press the steam button. But I've got this container here that I use to steam my milk. Okay, so you gotta kinda hold it just underneath the surface of the milk. Again, to be careful that it's really, really hot. Okay, when you're all done, press the stop button. Okay, so now we got some really, really hot milk. Be careful, and it's all nice and fluffy. Now again, the nice thing about this is you can add this to your drink. Add a little uh, French vanilla to this. This makes a nice little cappuccino or latte. Now this one does have an over ice button. We can fill the carafe with some ice, put some coffee in, hit the over ice button. It's gonna brew a really concentrated coffee into the ice. The ice will melt. It doesn't keep the warming plate on at the end, but the ice will melt and give you the proper dilution for a nice iced coffee. And again, both these are programmable. I can program this to have the coffee maker come on in the morning, same with this one. Okay, let's open this up. Let's get the Nespresso pot out. You gotta take this little container out there. It poked a hole in the bottom and the top. Okay, so the Cuisinart Hot and Ice retails for about 180. It is on sale for 150 right now. The Barista Bar, it does, it's quite a bit more. It's about 284. I think I've seen it down to around 250. That's when it's on sale, but you do get a lot more functions with this one. Now, I like that this one will do a four ounce through a coffee K-cup. That gives, even though you can't do the over ice on the K-cup side, being able to do a four ounce, that'll make you a really nice iced coffee because it's going to be a really concentrated coffee and then the ice will melt and it'll be the proper dilution. You know, the coffee maker side, they're identical. You know, whatever amount of water you put in the back, that's how much it's going to brew when you press the brew button. And 12 cups takes about 10 minutes. There are not a lot of machines that will do Nespresso pods, K-cups, and a full pot of coffee. This is a pretty special machine, and it has a, a steam one that does a really good job. So this is kind of a neat machine. This one's actually pretty basic with the K-cup, the carafe, but I think both of them are super nice, and I think they'd make great additions. So again, I bought both, the, both these with my own money. I really hope this video helps. I will put links to these in the show description notes underneath the video. There'll be a link to both of them. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. I've also got descale videos, so when the clean lights come on, I'll show you how to descale them and run vinegar through them. And I also have videos on how to clean the needles, so once in a while you do have to clean those needles. Be sure and check out my Facebook group page, Just a Dad Videos group page on Facebook. I'll be doing my free giveaways. I just gave away the Wolf Gourmet Coffee Maker. I really appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.